show you how to install the DVI Nano Lock Edge dual retractable yo yo's on your DVI harness. If you're unfamiliar with this product, to install it, it's got two little push buttons right here. They got to hold down at the same time and then slide this pin out behind it. It's a little bit difficult. You hold it down, open this pin up. It actually slides behind the webbing of the harness. So as you can see, I put some slack on it, open it up, run it through here. When you click it, make sure it goes all the way in and there's no exposed red. If there's red, it's not fully fastened. It's either got a defective product or it's, it's not. Webbing might be in the way, just get out of the way. Once it's there, the D-cell packs are here on this Velcro. You want to attach this to the webbing of the harness to secure it. It's wrapped around like that. Real simple. Pretty fast. And you've got it installed, ready to go. Now to remove it, it's the same process as you install it. You push these buttons down and then get that pin out. You might want to push the other end with a nail or a punch and then pull it out. Undo the Velcro straps. You got it off. When you store this, make sure you put the pin back in because if you've got it in a job box or something and the pin's out and you bend it, it's not going to sit right into the, the equipment and store it out of the way properly with the other fall protection equipment. And always inspect it prior to use. Make sure that the dual locking mechanisms are functioning properly. If you can open this gate without engaging the, the secondary locking device, no good. Get it out of service, tag it, let your superintendent know, and we'll get the right one out. These cables are eight foot long. When you inspect it, you're going to pull all eight feet out. So if you've got a, a nick or a cut seven feet in, you're not going to know if you just pull out and inspect one or two feet. When you put the cable back in, go slow. If you let it go too fast, it's going to wind up, bind up, damage the equipment but do both sides check it all out this is brand new out of the box but you don't know if there's a manufacturer default issue or shipping issue where it could damage it so you're checking all the cable locks good shape pans in good shape same thing with the harness even though it's new somebody that opened the box might have cut the webbing you're checking all of the the harness is webbing for any rips, any tears, any frays. The D-ring, make sure it's free of any cracks, any bends, gouges, rust. If, it, if this is damaged or any of the webbing's damaged, take it out of service and totally kill it uh, so nobody else uses it. Cut it, throw it in the garbage, uh, just make sure nobody else can use it. Uh, make sure it fits properly and we'll show you guys how to properly don the harness here momentarily.